This video is aimed to give an overview of storage solutions as a whole, so let's dive in. To start off, let's take a look at a micro SD card. Here you can see the main components that make it what it is. The hardware on this micro SD card comprises of a NAND flash, the flash controller, the connector, and the many passive components necessary to make it work. As mentioned in the previous training videos, the NAND flash is the memory and the flash controller is often called the brains of the device, as it is key to its behavior and reliability. What you physically cannot see is the controller's firmware, and that is ultimately what is responsible for the longevity, endurance, and reliability of a device. Moving on, storage form factors can be divided into three main categories, cards and keys, modules and drives, and embedded non-removable system in package solutions. Another way one can look at these form factors is their focus, being either size or performance. For example, micro SD cards are desirable often because of their physical size and their removable nature. In comparison, an embedded PCIe BGA is often desirable because of its performance capabilities. The bottom category added here is somewhat unique, but it highlights mature form factors that are still popular, especially in industrial applications. Another way to look at it is there are systems that need to be updated often and need easy maintenance. For this reason, these systems often implement removable cards such as SD and micro SD cards, compact flash cards, or CF Express cards. Systems in remote and harsh environments often implement robust encapsulated products like SD and compact flash cards, but also 2.5 inch SSDs or EMMC. These products boast stability, offering reliable shock and vibration protection alongside minimal corrosion and dust vulnerability. Systems that demand high capacities often implement 2.5 inch SSDs or NVMe storage solutions with U.2, U.3 or E1.S due to their advanced design and capabilities. These storage solutions allow for efficient data transfer when dealing with larger volumes of data. And finally, systems with height limitations may require the use of M.2 cards or EMMC solutions. As discussed in the previous training session, the flash controller is responsible for the behavior of a device, but performance? That is heavily dependent on and limited by the host interface of the storage solution. When it comes to interfaces, there are quite a few, and to best address performance requirements, one must identify which interface is optimal for a specific system. Each market has its own requirements that need to be understood among a range of other important considerations to best respond with the right product. When it comes to industrial automation, so data storage for robots, industrial PLCs and control units, the focus has always been on long-term availability and robustness, not necessarily high speed. If you look at the Netcom market, on the other hand, the focus is on robustness, but it's also very much paired with high speed requirements. Another often overlooked difference between these two markets is their access to support. An industrial PLC is likely located in a factory with on-site support in comparison to a baseband station, which may be in a remote, hard to access location. Another relevant and interesting market is the automotive market. Here, it's important to divide storage requirements between those for control units where long-term availability, moderate speed, and a decent price to performance ratio is integral to infotainment systems, which demand high density and high read performance. Ultimately, there is a lot of considerations when designing a storage module, from use case demands, to market demands, to interface limitations, to flash controller capabilities, and to NAND flash compatibility. It's a scope that needs to be understood from many angles, and that's what we are experts in here at SwissBit. To learn more, get in touch with our global sales team and subscribe to be notified for future videos.